what's happening what's up how you doing how you living how you feeling okay cool so i just finished reading more time to think by nancy klein and i wanted to do like a quick review of my experience okay so um i got this book from a previous job i didn't really want to read it because i felt like it would probably be too high level for me considering that it came from our chief transformation officer um who gave it to all of us but i read it nonetheless and actually funny enough it actually was quite insightful there's a part in the book that speaks about relationships and couples and i thought that was quite fascinating because what this lady speaks a lot about and by this lady i mean the author nancy klein she speaks about um, something called the thinking environment and enhancing the thinking environment so basically what she's trying to get to is that um, the quality of responses you get from people and the quality of answers that you get from them actually trickles down from the environment in which they think from so what that was illustrated um, uh, interestingly uh, by in the book was she, there was this example that she gave where she was with her brother and she sat on a swivel chair um, the point of the exercise was her brother was it was like a trust exercise almost right so the brother tells her close your eyes I'm going to spin the chair around and raise your hand to show me um, when I change the direction and so he did and she did and so she raised her hand a couple times at the end of it she opens her eyes and he says to her no i didn't i actually didn't change the direction at all i only brought the chair to a halt now if you're familiar with inertia of course if you're going in a certain direction and you come to a quick halt you'll you know you'll, you'll try to continue to go in that direction so with the swivel chair exercise it was quite difficult to be able to de uh, to decipher whether she was coming to a stationary position or whether she was changing direction so at so in her mind she thought it was a change in direction meanwhile it was just the chair coming to a halt so that exercise for me highlighted what she was basically speaking about in the book about the thinking environment it's kind of like brain fog right or making decisions coming from um, an intoxicated stance or if you are inebriated and you can't really think clearly and so the 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 quality of your decisions is obviously going to be a direct result of that frame of reference that you're coming from so the thinking environment is something that um, can be enhanced right so you can you can enhance how people think around you by how you interface with them by whether you give them your full undivided attention by whether you ask questions that show that you're genu genuinely curious um, and interested in what they're talking about so that's pretty much what the book was talking about there was another part um, about a, a couple right so it was about relationships and that part was actually for me that's the highlight of the book that's that's where i get my most um utility from the book because i'm i mean obviously i'm not overlooking large teams so for me that's not where i was benefiting i benefited from the interpersonal relationships a segment that the book touches on and in the in 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 the context of couples right she spoke about how it's very important um at the beginning of a relationship to clarify um what your uh, what your Achilles heel would be in that it, so for instance some person can have a communication issue another person could be clingy or another person could be you know everybody's got their own vices and so she speaks about how it's important to lean forward and like raise your hand and tell your partner what those are and also find out what your partner's um, vices, uh, challenges, etc. what those things are as well and then to see if those assumptions are interlocking in any way whatsoever because if they are it's very important that they're communicated and a strategy be built regarding how you best deal with those um, interlocking assumptions. It was an interesting book, very interesting book uh it was not a light read it was definitely not it was there was a lot of um there was a lot of like i think i read it in a slow play in a slow pace because i had to kind of digest everything sentence by sentence so it was interesting it was a very interesting read if you're interested in it um check it out more time to think by nancy klein